Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be returning to Attack at Dawn, North Africa. This is a new World War II game that looks at warfare in the desert in 1941 and 42. We are playing the second mission in the campaign. We played the first several weeks back before the game had actually released, and I have been meaning to come back to the game uh, when it came out a couple weeks back, but... Uh, got sidetracked, other things going on, work's been absolutely just crazy, and I just haven't had a chance to get back to it until now, so we're returning to this game. Mission number two in the campaign, playing as the Axis. This is the Easter battle, it is an assault on Tobruk, so we won the first battle, and so essentially we have overrun uh, the allied forces in the desert, but about 25,000 allied troops have been uh, cut off and surrounded at Tobruk, or at least pushed up against the sea. And this is sort of one of the locations, one of the famous battles in North Africa, uh, where the uh, British uh, and uh, Commonwealth Desert Rats uh, hung, you know, hung firm at Tobruk and were able to hold out until they were eventually relieved. And so we are in command of the German forces. The enemy is dug in. There is no open flank. We'll have to figure out how to break through the fortifications here. You can see in the strength of this mission, the Allies have 21,940 troops, 48 tanks, 36 are anti-tank guns, 144 artillery pieces, and 144 aircraft. The Axis have just slightly more men, 22,520, 252 tanks, so a big advantage in tanks, but because the Allies are dug in, uh, the advantage of tanks there is somewhat mitigated. 55 anti-tank guns, but the enemy doesn't have very many, anti many tanks. 144 artillery pieces and 144 aircraft. We are playing on normal difficulty and we are playing as the Axis. The situation and the objective? Our forces have invested the fortified area around Tobruk. Australian Infantry Division has occupied the old Italian forts around the town and is preparing for a prolonged siege. The best course of action would be to find a weak spot in the defenses and strike it hard. After creating a gap in the perimeter, we could exploit it by breaking through with our mobile forces and capturing the port. Our objective is to take for Fort Solero, the command position of the Tobruk Fortress. So we go ahead and we jump in here to the battle screen. You'll see our forces on display here. Uh, looks like we've got an Italian division down here, two battalions of infantry, two of armor and artillery. We've got the German Panzer Division here, the, uh, I guess technically actually the 5th Light Division here with two armored regiments, uh, two infantry battalions, two anti-tank gun sections, and an artillery section. On the right flank, we have three further Italian infantry battalions and another artillery unit. And on the left flank, we have units that I guess count toward our manpower total, but which we are not allowed to use. Uh, these are elements of the 19th Division, uh, which I don't think we can do anything with. Additionally, in terms so that manpower advantage for us is kind of um, illusory, I think. Meanwhile, if we take a look back at our airfield over here, back toward the, uh, I guess there's no closer airfield, huh? So if we go all the way to the sort of top left corner here, there's an airfield with two bomber units, no recon units at Gazala. The British have an airfield here just past the fortifications. And so I guess like what's the what's the weak point to find to exploit? And I'm not really sure. I guess my my initial strategy will probably be to pair these infantry regiments with the anti-tank gun units place one of these units on each side of the roadway here against this sort of jutting out section in the in the defenses. And then if we can push them out, we'll speed our tanks up through the middle, up through the roadway, probably take the airfield and maybe the fort if we're fast enough. Uh, but I guess we'll have to see how to play that. With that being said, we'll probably also want to bring this Italian infantry to the left and we'll also want to bring this Italian uh, infantry and armor in the south for it as well to support those assaults. So we're going to go ahead and start. We'll go ahead and pause. It is only a two-day long battle, so this is day one of two. We're going to go ahead and take these anti-tank guns here. Can we not merge them with the infantry? I think we can. And then I'd like to merge the two armored units so that we have 144 tanks as sort of a mailed fist all together, but I'm going to hold off on that for the moment just because it'll give a concentrated target for the enemy air force. For the Italians, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and march infantry and merge them with our armor. So we kind of have a combined armed force. We have the artillery moving, I guess, to the 
Let's actually do this. Move each armor unit forward. And then move the two infantry units into those. And then we're going to move the armor along this trail. Probably more efficient to move it directly to the east along this trail rather than through the desert. Meanwhile, on the right flank, we're going to cut, we're going to bring this Italian infantry over here. And we'll see. I mean, I don't really know what the best position is to put these guys in, but I don't like the idea of having sort of a spread out right flank and then a spread out center and then a left flank that I can't even use. I'm going to try and consolidate my forces. So combat starts at 5 a.m., but obviously we're not in contact with the enemy. We can't even spot any of the enemy. You can see... Their defenses are shaded in gray, so we can't even see what the enemy has opposite of us. Would it at least be nice if I could use the Italian artillery in these locked units, but I, I can't do anything with them. It also does not appear that there's any kind of carryover or anything like that uh, for uh, casualties based on... I looked at the, uh, the AI version of the scenario, and um, there's no, or not the AI, but the, the non-campaign version of the scenario, and there doesn't appear to be any kind of, um, any kind of casualties that, that carry over, if you will. Okay, so we've got this infantry and anti-tank gun merged together. Actually, wait, that's artillery, isn't it? So actually, I actually want to split that up. And I want, I want the infantry with the anti-tank guns. I don't want the infantry with the artillery. All right, so those guys are merged. We'll advance these guys slightly. Maybe we'll get some intel on the enemy. Italian infantry on the right flank is coming over. We're using the artillery to try and move more quickly here across the roadway. It's already about one hour into the battle. Okay. Remove the Italian armor with their infantry support east toward El Adim. Let's move the armor forward one here. I'm going to merge these two armored regiments, but not till we're a little bit further along. So the armor is going to go up the middle. Hey, did a little right up the middle. The infantry will be on the flanks. Okay. Some Australian infantry battalions here on the right flank. I don't have a lot of room to maneuver here for these units. All right, so we've got 2nd, 15th, and 2nd, 13th up front here. These guys are in the defensive position, the 2nd, 15th. So I'm actually just going to start softening them up with Artie. So we're going to disorganize them. Get our air power involved as well. I'm just going to focus everybody on this one target. I mean, I don't see a weak spot. These all kind of have the same values. So their morale is good, but they're disorganized. They're losing a few casualties the, to this preliminary artillery bombardment. Let's bring this artillery up. The Italian units are moving in. I think we actually are going to have to move the armor here. 
I don't know. I don't know the best way to get like a multi attack on these guys. All right, our strike is coming in. Let's hope they don't take any fire and take any damage. We can see we've inflicted about 10 casualties on the enemy. They haven't actually shot back at me yet. Nice. That was actually a pretty effective bombardment there from that initial strike. Artillery's reloading. artillery out to the flank. There's no reason to put our artillery up front here. Okay, we're up to s about 8 o'clock. Let's go ahead and get our second bomber in here on this target. So again, their morale's good, but they've lost about 30 men. I assume the one represents how much they're dug in. Maybe not, actually. So I think what we'll do is we'll just sort of alternate artillery so that throughout the entire day we've got a constant bombardment on the one enemy unit. Okay. Where did I move it? Right, those guys are moving. These guys are firing. I don't know if the Italian artillery is as good as the uh, the Germans or what kind of effectiveness they have. I hate that these strike aircraft have to fly across the entire front of the enemy position, though. There does appear to be an enemy anti-tank unit behind this front line. Another 10 or so casualties here on the enemy, so they're down to 186. These guys aren't firing yet. I guess let's see if we can attack these guys, huh? We're still getting some of the other units into position, but. So if we can hit from here, I'm hoping we can have two units attacking against the one enemy without exposing ourselves to multiple enemy counterattacks. How long did that first bombers reload it again? 70, 70 seconds? So the German artillery, those guys are reloading. So we'll have their Italian artillery fire. So we can see that the British unit here that's been pounded pretty heavily is shooting back, but not very effectively. You can see the German units attacking are also not attacking very effectively. I'd imagine these enemy units are going to get pushed back pretty quickly, though. I would hope. The bombardment, I would think, would help. Their morale is fair. Enemy strike coming in. It looks like they're going for our attackers, which I actually prefer. I'd rather they attack my attackers than my tanks. And they're moving armor into the front line. Let's support them by hitting these guys in the flank. Okay, so this enemy troops effectiveness is going to drop. Well, and these troops are still pretty good. The enemy did just attack. With their air force. Shooting at our artillery? They're going after our guns. 
We'll hit him with the available artil artillery unit. Meanwhile, then I'm going to bring my uh, anti-tank guns forward, I guess. Alright, the enemy is routed. They're going to bring reinforcements in, aren't they? And I can't move my own troops in quite yet. So I guess they're going to hit my artillery, so I'm going to go ahead and hit, try and hit their armor while it's in the open. They're down to 135 troops. Reload, reload, firing. All right, so we're hitting the enemy armor in the open. Pretty good odds. We're not even getting shot back at with our armor. So 140 tanks versus their 46. I would think those are going to be good odds for us. Meanwhile, we'll take our JU-87Bs. This feels like a little bit of a distraction, but we're also going to go ahead and use our air unit here to... Why is it not letting me hit this guy? Is he out of range or something? It won't let me hit the uh, enemy armor in the open. Hmm. All right, so new enemy infantry has moved into position. 460 troops. So this is a very strong unit. They're probably going to shred our own infantry here. So let's actually... Can we pull these guys back? Oh, I want to preserve these troops' morale as best I can. All the air attacks coming in. Next one is almost back online. Reloading, unable... Let's take care of this larger enemy force here. 445 troops are going to have two air attacks hit it since they apparently can't hit the armor. Inflict about 20 casualties. My own troops are losing pretty heavily. Let's move these. I don't want to move them that way, so let's actually pull these guys back. And I'm going to try and hit these enemy troops with... Uh, I'm too cramped in here. But I'd like to try and pull my infantry back, the German infantry, and save them. Meanwhile, we, we're really mopping up these enemy tanks. They are down about 17 from their starting force, and we haven't lost a tank yet. We have lost a couple artillery pieces, but... All right, these guys are at about 440 troops. I really don't want to do this. You're going to get hit by three units all at once. So the enemy infantry here is getting hit pretty hard. The Italian troops that we move forward are about to get bombed. And they're disorganized and not happy. Can we pull back? Do that. I don't want you getting shot from three sides. You're just going to die. The problem with not being able to move through friendly lines is crap like this. You get stuck. Has fallen pretty quick. But they've lost a, a good deal of their hand power here. If I can get this artillery unit off the road, I can advance these guys up the roadway toward the 15th Australian Battalion. Meanwhile, we still haven't lost a tank. Morale is great, and the enemy armor is at less than 50% strength. It's about 12 o'clock. We've used up most of our artillery for the day. I don't know if we have a third airstrike or not. Right, the enemy's routing. I thought I ordered these guys to retreat. Okay, there they go. They're out. How are we doing losses-wise? So, so far we've lost eight tanks, all Italians, 723 troops. The enemy's only lost 472, so we've lost a lot more men. Uh, but the enemy tank losses are huge compared to ours. I don't know that that matters as much in this particular fight. 
these this unit's morale is low though, so that's actually good. The uh, German artillery's morale is non-existent. I don't want them to rout. You know, these guys should be. They're getting hit by enemy artillery, but their morale should be recovering a little bit. See if we can get the artillery out before the enemy routes them. Now they'll rally tomorrow, so it's not the end of the world. Also, I guess it would be kind of nice if we could really wreck the enemy uh, infantry in the open. Alright, so we've got... This Italian unit's taking hit f fire from two sides. Did I really use all my artillery for the day? Not quite. Alright, hit those guys. There we go. The enemy's actually withdrawing out of this position here. We'll see if they put more troops in. I can pursue. Meanwhile, we're wrecking these two uh, battalions here, about 400 troops. So they're routed. I haven't done a great job of pushing through the enemy lines yet. Looks like we... The artillery was instrumental in pushing those guys out of their position. Are we doing on air power? Any chance we're going to get these guys up today? Third strike for the day. Coming in. We'll hit the troops on the right flank. So what are we at now? 800 casualties for 600. We're closing the gap a little bit. I think we're routing some of their better units. These larger units. Alright, let's see if we can push these troops into the open. Let's also hit the uh, enemy troops that are moving to the left. Air attack coming in on our armor, our Italian armor though. Oh shit, they routed that infantry. Well, can you guys move in here? No, 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 don't do that. Move the Italian tanks into the gap, at least for the moment. So our air power took some damage. Enemy air attack didn't seem to do a whole lot of damage to that Italian unit here. I need to get into this trench line. Once we're in here, I think we're in pretty good shape to push the enemy back. They will lose a lot of their defensive advantages. Trying to move troops left. But if my infantry can get there before them, or my armor, then we may be able to pry open a gap. Right, get in there, armor. Nice, that might actually be a two hex gap there. So let's try and push forward with 140 tanks. Do any more air? do I don't know who to hit yet though so let's hold off on that attack these guys can you just halt your retreat like any chance you're not going to run as far as you can okay maybe not alright so these guys 
guys are doing okay, I think. These troops on the right are going to break soon. Their morale is low. So let's bomb. Yeah, they're breaking. They're running! Alright, let's break open this ho let's break open this front. Where are my German troops? Give me give me these guys moving forward here. These Italian troops are doing okay for the moment. Alright, their morale is good, so let's use our air power to break them if we can. Considering we're getting hit by artillery with our troops in the open. That's never good for morale. Armor is getting hit too, but our armor morale is really good for the moment. So air power is coming in with at least one more strike today. It is 1540 hours. We've breached at least part of the perimeter. We've routed many enemy units. He's not doing so hot there. Stop running away, guys. Very fair. This German troops' morale is falling. All right, good low. So they should break him momentarily. Then what I'll do is I'll push my armor into the open up this roadway. And they took damage too, but at least it's the end of the day, so the damage should be repaired tomorrow. Actually, pull back. Sorry, Italian armor. Because this these German troops, I don't know how much longer they're going to last. We have about two hours till daylight, or till sunset. The enemy held back a good deal of their artillery till later in the day, which is smart. Artillery, that infantry with that artillery. All right, so these guys are retreating. I'm gonna hold this armor in place for the moment. Oh, that infantry is gonna rout. Just because I don't want to advance my armor into the open against these enemy anti-tank guns. I'd rather use the defensive trenches that we have. Where are we at casualty-wise? We are taking more than them. Okay. So we'll stop shooting at those retreating troops. We'll start shooting at these nine guns with no infantry support. The uh, Italian infantry here is retreating, but the armor isn't yet. I think they may have enough morale to last to the morning. We'll give them more infantry support up here. Are these guys ever going to get together and merge? All right, move this forward. Okay. So I think my troops have enough morale to last another hour. I'm not sure. Both my air units are damaged, so they're out of the fight. I would think this armor is going to be able to overrun the, uh... Let's pull the Italian tanks back. We're going to swing these guys over here. These guys are in the open. They have 400 troops, but their morale is low. Have we not destroyed any of their guns yet? They've gotten two of our German tanks here. Looks like we've got a big advantage firing-wise, but... I'm trying to secure a multi-hex front so I can push through into the open toward Fort Solero. But even though we got a, a toehold here... It doesn't seem like we're having a lot of luck. We did just knock out one of their anti-tank guns. Okay. 
All right, so our Italian armor is merged. Our German infantry is routing forward, which is strange. That regiment did route. Damn it. We got it less than an hour left on the day. We routed the enemy armor. Or enemy anti-tank guns. We knocked out two of them. Alright, those guys are routed too. So I'll have those German troops push forward if they can. Before the day ends, we'll have the Italian armor push forward too, or I guess the German units here. Move the Italians into their position. Could you just wait, guys? You don't need to. Alright, so we've broken through. We're in the enemy rear, actually. We're shooting up these guys. All right, so that's the end of the day. Here's the positions as they stand. Day two is about to start. The German attackers did lose about 400 more men. German and Italian attackers did lose about 400 more men than the defenders on infantry casualties. Uh, 27 tanks lost. The enemy lost 30. Three anti-tank guns, we lost eight. Seven artillery pieces, they lost none. Still, we did breach the enemy line and routed several enemy battalions. So I'm hopeful that our morale is in a good spot. Let's move this, these guys back. So let's, first things first, these guys should have rallied, so let's do that. Let's move the Italian armor forward. We'll move these guys here. And let's also have Oh, damn, one of those guys is still damaged, so we only have one air unit today? That's going to suck. All right, I'm just going to start with a general bombardment against everything to my front to try and pin their right flank without it doing too much damage. I'm going to try and push forward with the Italian tanks. We're already in the rear of these guys at the start of the day. Enemy air attack coming through. Looks like they're going to go for our infantry, which is an interesting decision. They're not going for our armor in the open. Hmm. Alright, so that enemy unit's routed, I think? Yeah, they are. Two enemy, well, I guess these guys are low morale. These guys are better morale. So this is day two. This is the last day of the fight. Okay. And right, I'm going to move my infantry up to this trench line. We've got to push forward. And we've got to take Solero by the end of the day. All of our air units are now damaged, which means they're effectively out of the fight. We've lost a couple of tanks to anti-tank guns, but we are withering them away. So basically, we just have artillery. Trying to get my goddamn Italian infantry forward. I want to save some artillery for the assault on Solero if we can get there. And 
Their morale is low. They're routing. Hit the enemy armor and infantry in the open. The morale isn't great with this armor. Ooh, nice. So this infantry and anti-tank gun unit here hitting to our right. Extending to our right flank is doing a good job. God, the machine gun ver infantry battalion is about to break. Their morale sucks. Both the enemy units there are retreating. So why would their morale still be going down? They're just shooting fleeing enemy troops. Alright, we're shooting up this enemy tank unit. They're down to 12. Let's push our armor forward here. Let's try and get up to the airfield and knock out the enemy air power. Move our tanks to the left. Into these trenches the infantry is routing. All right, so we're pushing forward. Our, we're making a we're making our push with our uh, Panzer formations here. Our Italian tanks are trying to hold off the enemy counterattack here with a, a strong battalion of infantry and anti-tank guns that have moved in to our left. One of those Italian tank units may last for a bit. I don't think both will. One of one of their morale's morale is pretty low. Right flank is being held by this anti-tank gun and infantry unit against these guys. They're actually pulling back, so let's push. Support our armor's rear. Shit, our morale is not in good shape there. We need to push our artillery forward too. We're down to 30 morale. Which is nuts, like I get that they're fighting all day so they're probably pissed off, but on the flip side... You're also steamrolling everything to your front, so. I'm literally attacking your infantry right here next to you, and you're not? You're not even bombing me? I don't think we're gonna do it, I don't think we're gonna have the time. Let's hit these guys in the open. There's one King's Dragoon Guards and the 12th Australian Battalion both coming up on my armor. There's morale's now into the 20s. One of those Italian tank units finally routed. So there's kind of a general route going on in the enemy forces, it feels like. Or at least a lot of their units are routing. But I lack the strength to exploit that at the moment. It's like they're routing. Under 20 morale. They're routing. So push forward, guys. Push forward to the frickin'. All right, go knock out that enemy airfield. I don't know if pausing the attack for my armor will help their morale or not. But you can see, like, everything is fleeing before me. It'd be nice if these Italian troops over here would unlock. All right, let's hit these guys. Their morale's still decent. With both artillery units. We'll save one of them for the the assault. And we just destroyed all of the enemy air power. Can you guys just stop fighting for a minute? Will your morale go up at all? If we just give you like a 20 minute break. Shit. So the infantry's coming in behind me. 
got nothing to move up and stop them with. So they're probably going to take out some of these guns. The morale... Did it go up slightly for this armor by waiting a little bit? I think it might have. Infantry shooting up those guys. Destroyed. Okay, so we just destroyed that enemy unit. Additional enemy troops are coming forward to assault the airbase. So the armor's morale does go up now that they're not engaged. Ever so slightly. God damn it, I need to push these guys through. Used, used. I've used all my artillery already? I thought I got one more. One more volley. Are you telling me none of the aircraft are. Alright, we got about five hours left, but I'm not. Uh, my infantry, they're routed, so it's just the anti-tank guns now. The troops at the fort have low morale. I guess we'll move up the armor. We got a little bit of a break. Alright, can you... try to route these guys very quickly, and then maybe we can pull you back? The infantry battalion, one of these guys is ready to route the King's Dragoons. I really need artillery to help that assault. Yeah, we're going to fall just short. We're going to run out of steam just before we get to the damn fort. The armor is going to break here in a minute. We did break the enemy infantry, one of their battalions here. But the King's Dragoons are gonna save the day for them. Unless the Italians can turn some, pull some magic out, but I don't think so. What are they even shooting at over here? HQ far. And so their morale is low. The Italians actually outnumber them almost, almost two to one, but again, Italians. All right, come on, guys. Push forward to the fort. Maybe, maybe you can get there. Those are routing. All right, so they have low morale. My own troops, not much better. They retook the airfield. Got two hours. Two hours surrounded. <laughs> Whatever. Is there anything around here that has good morale for the enemy? Not really. Their morale kind of all sucks. But the defenders have better fire. Oh my god. No. I feel like one more airstrike or one more artillery bombardment would have would have done it, but instead. Our forces are driven back. That's kind of silly, though, because, like, they, we broke through their lines. The enemy was running. Like, I got to think the armor would be like, just one more push for victory. As it is, we lost. Maybe if I hadn't used my air power. I don't know if I needed to use my air power so aggressively day one. But you can see it's a defeat. The enemy lost 38 of their 48 tanks. They lost 144 of their 144 aircraft. To me, that would be a defeat in of itself. Five artillery pieces, eight anti-tank guns, 2,500 infantry. We did lose 3,000 infantry, but still, we broke their perimeter, guys. Just the damn cowardly armor gave up. And that's, uh... That's a defeat. So... You can take a look through the OOB and stuff and, like, look at each individual unit's performance. But we're not going to do that. We could take a look through all this information and look at the losses, but we're not going to do that. I don't know why it shows this arrow here. I wasn't allowed to attack with those troops. They were locked. 
I didn't ever see him unlock. Anyway. So, next battle is what? We fought Kelly, we fought Tobruk, but we lost it at Easter battle. So I'm guessing if we had won at Tobruk, then we would have gotten like an alternate history and maybe an early 41 push to El Alamein. But given we didn't. Why does it say this? It, it was total. We lost all that in one last battle, right? Not, but we didn't lose 72 tank. I don't know. So it looks like the next battle is going to be Battle Axe. We're going to be on the defensive against the Allies, who are going to outnumber us almost two to one. Or, or yeah. And uh, it's going to be a tough one. We have a lot of anti-tank guns. But we're going to have to try and hold the Haifa Pass against uh, a British counterattack. But that'll be for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Attack at Dawn, our second video in the Grand Campaign. The game is out on Steam. It is developed by Panzer Division Games. It released on June 7th. And uh, it's an interesting turn-based, but also we, we're playing in the real-time mode. They do have a turn-based option as well. Uh, war game that looks at the North African campaigns in World War II from 1941 to 1942. Um, it has a campaign that links battles together. Not so much casualties, but end results. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, I know this was a little bit more of a slow-paced video. I didn't speed things up too much in the battle, but I was having a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave your thoughts down below and uh, until next time this is the historical gamer saying thank you for watching and i'm out